And I think we have to kind of frame our messages on like, what can we do? What are the possibilities? And the, the one thing I wrote about, I think this is an innovative of the box is that it's really hard to visualize. Don't. So if I say to you, don't talk, do you visualize closing your mouth or do you visualize, you know, talking, right? Don't, don't, don't sit down. Do you visualize standing? And it, it was kind of interesting. There's research on this and I, I can't, I don't remember off the top of my head, but like, do we actually encourage kids to do the thing that we say not to do by having them visualize that uh, in their heads? Like don't bully is sometimes putting bullying ideas into the heads of our students. So when you walk into your classrooms, when you walk in your school is when you read the piece of literature in your classroom, you might have been teaching that same piece for 15, 20 years, but pretend it's your first day and pretend and think about the perspective. And at one point it might've been really powerful. There might've been something really great. Um, but is it still relevant to this day? Is it still connected? So look at everything with fresh eyes. And I, I feel that really helps me. And, it, and it, you might really like, Hey, this was here 25 years ago. It is still as powerful and as relevant today. And that's awesome. But if you sometimes don't even notice the things on the wall, I understand your kids are probably new there. They probably haven't spent, you know, some of our schools are, that's our kids are there for, you know, one or two days when I've been there for 25 years, fresh eyes will really help you see through the lens of the people entering your school and what message does it actually tell? 